then that was going to happen and all the good stuff like that. But when God dropped it in my lap, mm -hmm. I was already diagnosed. But on that day, it's like a lot of things came out. Pitbull himself, the bull, a.k.a. Reggie B. Yes. Reggie B? There. She had his we testimony. Because Reggie came through it. Hey. Yeah. But you know what's like? Reggie came through it. My cousin and I were diagnosed around the same time. This was like a year ago then, right? This year. He was last year? No, it was 2013. Yeah. A few years ago, my cousin was diagnosed this year. So everything that I had to go through and all mm. the help that I needed, God was already putting people putting in place. In? And I'm so grateful, I'm taking a deep breath so I don't break down, yeah. that this brother knew mm -hmm. what I was dealing with. Mm. Because had he not, with the stuff that I was dealing with, if you don't, if you haven't gone through it, you don't, you no, don't get it. it yeah. You know, people like you hear, you got cancer, like, I'm sorry to hear that. But unless you've they gone through it. So when I would come up here and take about, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes to walk from the elevator to people this door, why. he got it. And when I was coming here and trying to do voice tracking, I'd have to cut this stuff down just so it didn't sound Exhausted, like that like you were tired. on the air. Really? So I would have to make sure some days that I have to take and just take all the air out so it would flow. He understood. Nobody would ever know that. But he got it. And, and you like, never stopped, though. It's what's crazy. Sheila, don't come to work. Why are you coming to work? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Don't come to work. Go home. Sleep. Stay home. That's all Eat I got right, from him. Yeah. That's all I got from him. Now you got to write about it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Come on. Because <laughs> most gonna, people think mm -hmm. when that hits you, it's over. <laughs> like Reggie went through it, and we were like, he was done. And we was like, well, did you go through anything? He went through stuff while I'm working here, and I didn't know until he was almost done that That's it was done. Thought. And you never complained about nothing. I couldn't. I, I couldn't, man. He had, he had some rough days, but even with the rough days, I didn't know what was going on. He was just like, ah. Mm -hmm. That was it. I'm a little huggy-huggy, touchy-touchy. A little bit. You should be. Would Just, God bring you through something like that? Know. Do you know how many people? You lived with stuff that other folks died from. Mm -hmm. You know how many people yeah. can't talk about it? Yeah, yeah. And I, what kind of <clears throat> got me the other day, I got to take deep breaths so I don't fall apart. Too many cameras going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> but a friend of mine was telling me, who works here, that his sister was diagnosed with Mercer, but she lost her leg. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was in the hospital after having the port, that was infected, that was taken out, mm -hmm. and the doctor came in the room the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're sick. I'm in the bed. He says, no, you're sick. Mm -hmm. You have Mercer. You have blood infection. You have wound infection. And this is on top of everything else that I've mm -hmm. got that's going on. And when I was talking to a couple folks, my niece was a nurse, she panicked because you got Mercer. Yeah. And I didn't know all of the stuff people that die. was involved. I didn't know that people died from this thing. And after I finally got out a week later, I was on vancomycin for three and a half weeks. Yeah. And then after that, then I was like, okay, let's get this chemo going again because I want to hurt him get it. So you had to pause it. that to deal with that infection. Exactly. And then... Exactly. That stuff is something else, man. You got to write about it. Mm-hmm. There's an angle, though, because you can. everybody got different books mm -hmm. about what they went through. Mm -hmm. But... For me, there's a there's a bigger meaning that's involved. I mean, I learned some lessons and whatnot, but God showed me a lot. He he has shown me visions. Man, He was revealing stuff to me left and right, mm -hmm. and my circle of people became smaller than yeah, small. Absolutely. You God find bless out who's this who. man. I love Reggie. Reggie B is I the love man. Him. He's been a he blessing Jesus to cousin. me. <laughs> <laughs> he be dropping some wisdom. I'd be like, Reggie doesn't been walking in toilets. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hopes I'll be fine. Okay. But, you know, but to post them, the timeliness of it, ain't nobody else in radio doing that. I mean, they are, they doing other agendas, but I mean, you keeping it balanced. Try, you got to do Keep a little something real. there. Because you, know, so you know people are going through stuff, man. So yeah. uh, some every now and then we see something that look kind of right. You just got to... Yeah, you got to share that. Yeah, you got to share it. Yeah, because such people hitting your page with stuff that other people ain't getting. Right. I do the same thing. I don't just do random. I really have to feel compelled because I could be talking about my music. Right, I right, could be right. talking about bookings. Right. I could be talking about... But it's like you got to reach out and find out how to empower the mm -hmm. community and let them know yeah. I care beyond record sales. You know. You do. Yeah. Do people know how brilliant you are, though? Seriously. Only you. People do not know how brilliant you are. You yeah. are a smart business. Oh. He was dropping some dimes back in December um, when we had the Fuel and Forward thing when we was with Chris oh, seriously yeah, yeah, that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was dropping some real knowledge and on Chris. Like, yeah. Dang, Ernest. Like, we, we know that you had it going on, but like I'm trying that? to be a comedian. Like, don't, I don't want y'all to think I'm smart. I want to be a comedian. <laughs>